update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down uh, 444 right now. NASDAQ is off 385. S&Ps are down 84. Gold. Gold contract up $23.90 at 1861. You got silver up eight cents, twenty-three dollars sixty-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up. Uh, where is she? She's she's moving, man. Up by uh, three sixty-four, ninety-three dollars fifty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up eighteen ticks, trading one twenty-six eleven. The thirty-year up a full point at one fifty-two twenty. And king dollar. King dollar is also up five twenty-six ninety-six zero oh, seven eight. Euro is at one thirteen. Yen is at one fifteen point two eight. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P. Volatility in spades, no doubt about it. What this market's done, well, you can see what it's done. We were talking about this yesterday. Bottom line, once it came down, it's going into the highs of the lows. Um, you, got, you have some juice here, though. That being said, yesterday we came down with 140 million. We're going to do 140 today. Now, no, you, excuse me, folks. You're coming into 186 million as well as 252. Um, the top of the lows are 440. Right now, we hit 439, you're at 441, and we'll see where this ends up, man. I mean, the bottom line is that this is where you can get the rejection of lower price, right here, coming into that, those areas. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX? NDX, same type of setup. The difference is, and the NDX is definitely weaker, is that the NDX has already got into the highs of the lows, which is not good, because when you dig into them like this, the bottom line is that if we're at 348, it's already dug into it by five points. So that's saying that the NDX can get it down um, and test this uh, high volume low. Um, I guess it depends when you want to uh, basically get rid of that high volume low as a trader. Uh, 334 is wide open. That's how that baby is set up. Gold. Gold contract caught a bit out here. Uh, we had volume that finally came in yesterday. You get volume that's in there today. That being said, I, I particularly don't like the move end gold today because of the Ukraine deal and all that. My experience is that when you get a move, when it's a wartime move, it's a one-day move. You know, we got volume behind the deal, that's for sure. We got it yesterday, getting it today. We'll see where the rest of this shakes up. The dollar's up also. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.